Well, hello everybody. Lots of um, fun revelations today. And then the Lord gave me a message, um, which has the clue in it that I told you about before. First, ignore the Telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. And um, I claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's also God. He came to the earth um, as a man in the flesh. He shed his blood on the cross and died for us, for our sins, so we'd be saved and rose on the third day. Okay. So, May 9th, 2023. <sighs> he gave it to me yesterday, but he finished it today. So, I guess it would be like May 10th. Yeah, because it's mostly done today. Well, either way. Either way, we'll just say it was the ninth since he started that day. <laughs> okay, Romans 9-11. And this is what he gave me earlier to confirm. But before they were born, before they had done anything good or bad, she received a message from God. This message shows that God chooses people according to his own purposes. 1 Corinthians 3-11. For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Proverbs 8, 5. Oh, you simple ones, understand prudence. Sorry, I'm a little tired today. And you fools, be of an understanding heart. Proverbs 8, 12. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge and discretion. Job 38, 7. When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Ezekiel 42.3 Opposite the inner court of 20 cubits and opposite the pavement of the outer court was gallery against gallery and three stories. Jeremiah 21.3-5 Oh, I'm so sorry. Hmm. He poured his spirit out to me today. It makes me so tired. Um, then Jeremiah said to them, Thus you shall say to Zedekiah, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Behold, I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands, and which you fight against the king of Babylon and the Chaldeans who besiege you outside the walls. And I will assemble them in the midst of this city. I myself will fight against you with an outstretched hand, and with a strong arm, even in anger and fury and great wrath. Colossians 1.7 As you learn from Ephraphas, our dear fellow servant, who is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf. 2 Thessalonians 3.5-8 Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. But we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you withdraw from every brother who walks disorderly and not according to the tradition which he received from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow us, for we were not disorderly among you, nor did we eat anyone's bread free of charge, but worked with labor and toil night and day, that we might not be a burden to any of you. Okay, and then he gave me a message. My child, guns in Saudi Arabia. The storm has rolled in. The wind tunnels. The freight train will be at the last stop. The flowers look at the prophets. Count the leaves on the trees. I have re revealed the date to my prophets. They have sealed it till I ask them to speak. They obey my commands because they love me. It's coming soon. Count the days and look at 43. The seals are reversed. They are the beginning and the end. They have a double meaning. Look at the numbers. They mean something. Trumpets sound off my judgments. The seals start my wrath. How many days in between each trumpet blast? How many days does the flowers bloom? Meteor showers, a parade of lights, rocks fall, aurora lights everywhere, lightning strikes. The ninth hour, my chosen ones and children will be gone. The animals, do not worry, they will be perfectly safe. Do I not feed the birds? Does the animals obey my commands? Aren't we one spirit and go to the same place? I will protect them. The scorpion, look at the swirl. 
Is it at my hour? The battle has started. The kings will come together. They will unite. Israel and Damascus will be a target. The lunar eclipse, it won't be scheduled. Look at the dawn breaking. The clock stops. Constellation upside down. Spica will blow. Look up, child. I am coming. I can't wait to see my bride. Jeremiah, look at the almond tree. Did Jeremiah not speak prophecy about the Jordan River? Acacia wood, what does it mean? How does it relate? My door is still open, but it will be closing very soon. Believe in me with your hearts. Confess I am Lord. I will save you. I wish for no one to perish. Even the wicked I wish to save. Repent, come to me, I am forgiving, and you are saved by your faith and my grace. If you come to me and believe in me, you are counted righteous because you are covered by my blood on the cross. I died for you, so you may be saved. So why do you have doubt and why don't you trust in me? I am forgiving and loving and I know everyone's heart. Do not be foolish, child. It's time to make a choice. I love you. Your Abba, your friend, your Lord God, and I have spoken. Jeremiah 29.3 The letter was sent by the hand of Elas, Elisa, the son of Shaphan, and Jemariah, the son of Hilkiah, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent to Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, saying, Jude 1 7. As Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to these, having given themselves over to sexual immorality and gone after strange flesh, are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Joel 2 9. They run to and fro in the city, they run on the wall, they climb into the houses, they enter at the windows like a thief. Exodus 2 5. Then the daughter of Pharaoh came down to bathe at the river. And her maidens walked along the riverside, and when she saw the ark among the reeds, she sent her maid to get it. Joshua 14, 9. So Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land where your foot has trodden shall be your inheritance and your children's forever, because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. Ezekiel 27, 3. And say to Tyre, who you who are situated at the entrance of the sea, merchant of the peoples on many coastlands, thus says the Lord God, O Tyre, you have said, I am perfect in beauty. Daniel 1, 9. Now God had brought Daniel into the favor and goodwill of the chief of the eunuchs. Luke 14, 7. So he told a parable to those who were invited when he noted how they chose the best places, saying to them, Revelation 19.5, Then a voice came from the throne, saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, and those who fear him, both small and great. First John 2.12, I write to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven, you for his name's sake. Daniel 12.8, Although I heard, I did not understand. Then I said, My Lord, what shall be the end of these things? All right, guys, and that was it. That was the message. Uh, if you don't believe in Jesus, you know, what are you waiting for? Trust in him. Ask him to come into your life. And, um, you know, if you just believe in him with all your heart, confess he's Lord, guys, he'll save you. He doesn't want anyone to perish. So anyway, oh, sorry, I'm so tired. Ooh, this is a long day. I mean, we were on the phone today, me and Cassie from Faith Over Fear, and the Lord was giving her clues. And it was super cool because like he would give her clues and stuff and then I would hear things in my head and then he would go like this and then I would get another clue for her. And some of those clues in this message was the clues that he gave me today and he just kind of repeated everything. And then he revealed the date and we sealed it. So he said I could not tell them and they had to figure it out. So I gave them the clues to figure it out and then they figured it out and then he said that it was okay to tell them so <laughs> I'm sorry but we have to keep it sealed but yes he has revealed and it is soon so you guys you know so just keep looking up believe in Jesus because he wants everyone saved he loves us all okay guys have a blessed day you like my little sparklies I had fun today at the hair thing she put like little cool things <laughs> god bless